Winning when people eagerly anticipate your failure is an unparalleled sensation. Dan, you've witnessed the erosion of a million followers in the past year while your company stock nosedived to the extent of being delisted from the exchange. Now, your time is consumed by mimicking Andrew Tate's endeavors, envisioning a Sigma Society website, and engaging in political diatribes on Twitter. This unequivocally epitomizes failure. Let's delve into the downfall of Dan Bilzerian and how it all transpired. Dan Bilzerian took his company Ignite public at $250 per share in January 2019. At that juncture, his trajectory seemed immaculate. His Instagram was amassing 400,000 followers monthly, he resided in a $65 million mansion, and crucially, everyone bought into the authenticity of his lifestyle. However, July 2020 marked a turning point. 18 months post-Ignite's inception, a vice president of Ignite sued Dan Bilzerian for wrongful termination, unveiling the facade of his business model. The lawsuit unearthed unsettling truths. Dan Bilzerian hadn't acquired his mansion for $65 million. It was rented out at $2.4 million annually. Furthermore, he footed the bill for travel expenses of models persistently accompanying him despite his claims of their voluntary presence. The lawsuit also detailed bizarre expenditures, $75,000 on a paintball field, $40,000 on a rock climbing wall, $60,000 on a Star Wars gun set, $31,000 on pool renovations, $50,000 on a bed frame, $15,000 on a ping pong table, and $88,000 on a vault among others. Ignite's funds were also siphoned for personal indulgences such as groceries, luxury yacht rentals, and household items camouflaged under business expenses. Dan Bilzerian's flippant response only exacerbated matters. Despite his retort, the abysmal financial reports remained irrefutable. In its inaugural year, Ignite hemorrhaged $69 million against a meager $9.7 million in sales. Consequently, Ignite stock plummeted nearly 90%, dwindling from $250 to an adir of $28 in October 2020. Dan's attempts to rationalize the losses by citing Uber unprofitability proved futile. The crux of the issue lay in Dan's ostentatious lifestyle, which served as Ignite's allure. Yet the allure waned as the facade crumbled, revealing a rented extravagance. Dan's once enigmatic persona lost its allure, succumbing to the realization that it was a hollow spectacle. The era of the Instagram tycoon had waned, overshadowed by the stark truth behind the veneer. In May 2020, Dan markedly reduced his Instagram activity, culminating in a decline in followers by year-end. Speculations swirled in the media about an imminent bankruptcy, prompting Dan's retort, a tweet featuring a skeleton captioned for the dumb ace journalist awaiting Ignite's demise. Indeed, Ignite wasn't filing for bankruptcy, yet it wasn't thriving either. Following a $69 million loss in 2019, Ignite hemorrhaged an additional $19.7 million in 2020. During this tumultuous period, another peculiar detail emerged. Dan's father, Paul Bilzerian, purportedly helmed Ignite clandestinely. However, Paul, a convicted felon prohibited from involvement in publicly traded companies due to past fraud convictions, downplayed the relationship. Despite Dan's claims of infrequent contact, articles suggested Paul's increasingly prominent role at Ignite evident in extensive email exchanges with top executives. Despite the losses, Ignite eked out a profit in the final quarter of 2020, heralding Dan's celebratory tweet and disproving skeptics. Cost-cutting measures, including a 75% reduction in promotional spending, buoyed Ignite's finances amid the pandemic-induced slowdown. As economic conditions improved in early 2021, Ignite stock surged from $0.28 cents per share in October 2020 to $13 within a year. Revenue swelled from $16.9 million in 2020 to $78.8 million in 2021. Buoyed by Ignite's apparent resurgence, Dan expressed a desire to sell the company for $2 billion, eyeing a substantial windfall. However, this ambition waned. This ambition waned as Ignite's value plummeted in 2022, exacerbated by a damning development, the SEC's lawsuit against Ignite Brands Ltd for alleged accounting fraud. 
The suit revealed potential falsifications in public financial statements and ongoing criminal investigations, sending Ignite stock spiraling to record lows. In response, Dan delisted Ignite from the stock exchange, offering no explanation for the company's removal. Thus, Dan's roller coaster journey with Ignite from meteoric rise to precipitous fall underscores the volatile nature of entrepreneurship and the perils of unchecked ambition. Two months later, in March 2023, MJ Bizdaily managed to secure an interview with Dan Bilzerian's father. Paul revealed that he had transitioned into an unpaid advisory role for his son's company, speaking on behalf of Ignite in Dan's absence. He asserted that having a public company without an intention to raise capital from public markets made little sense. Despite Ignite being publicly traded, about 90% of the company's shares were owned by Dan and his associates. It appeared that Dan, as a public figure, opted for a public company structure which garnered unwanted attention from regulatory bodies and the media. Reportedly, as of March 2023, Dan continued to resist cooperation with governing bodies, Despite Ignite's privatization indicating a shift away from public income scrutiny, there were no apparent improvements in business prospects. On Ignite's Instagram, Dan boasted about best-selling vapes in South America, yet the top comment questioned the authenticity of such claims. Ignite's Twitter page struggled with approximately 30 likes per post, while its TikTok account had under 4,000 followers. Dan's personal social media presence mirrored the company's struggles, with his main Instagram page losing 100,000 followers monthly due to prolonged inactivity. In a January 2021 interview, Dan attributed his reduced social media activity to focusing on editing his book. However, despite the book's release, Dan failed to revive his Instagram presence. A recent podcast appearance shed light on his evolving perspective, where he expressed disillusionment with social media, likening it to a cancer afflicting society. He described it as a game he had mastered eight years ago, and now he felt tired of playing it. Dan revealed a resentful stance towards his social media career, expressing a distaste for perpetuating what he considered a societal problem. Despite the sentiment, his last venture with Andrew Tate involves creating an alpha male course and a website called Sigma Society. The project aims to teach men how to embody traditional masculinity. While it might attract an audience, skeptics view it as a potentially unoriginal and desperate money-making endeavor indicative of someone with little left to offer. As we wrap up our discussion on Dan Belzerian's tumultuous journey with Ignite, we invite you to engage further with our content. If you found this video informative and thought-provoking, please consider giving it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful discussions on entrepreneurship and business dynamics. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update from us. Your support helps us continue creating valuable content like this. Additionally, if you'd like to show some extra support, you can use the Super Thanks feature to contribute directly to our channel's growth and development. Your contributions enable us to produce more in-depth analyses and thought-provoking discussions. Thanks a lot for joining us today, and we look forward to having you with us in our future explorations. Until next time, take care and stay curious.